You know, you know what I like about the movies. I like because I still I love to go to movies. I I love that they make me think, make me laugh, make me cry, make me whatever. I love the I love the emotions. And, and I you know I, I liked like with Hercules and Andromeda, that's science fiction and fantasy. To me, that is a great escape. Because we get tired of watching the news all the time. There's so much death, there's so much anger, there's so much hatred. I think we like the escape. We like to disappear and watch the big screen. Kevin, would you like to play in the theater? I have done theaters. It's been a long time, but I did a lot of theater when I was back in my, in my 20s. Where? In, in Minnesota, Minneapolis, where I'm from, and uh, Los Angeles. Now, what do you think about theater? What do I think about theater? I think I think it's an amazing training ground. What made me want to be an actor? When I was 11, I saw Shakespeare. I saw the, Prince of the Guthrie Theater in Minneapolis is a very famous theater. Arlo Guthrie from England formed it 50, 60 years ago. And everybody on New York Broadway wants to play there because the city I grew up in. Um, it's not as big as Moscow, but it's you know, three and a half, four million people. It's a good sign. It's it's uh, they support theater. They love theater. So it's the audience. It's the reaction. When I do, I've done a lot of um, sitcom work. You know, the Two and a Half Men, Dharma and Greg, all these shows. You you do. It's fun because it's well Monday through Thursday is rehearsal. Friday it's a live audience. So it's like doing a play every week. You start a theater? Yes. Kevin, do you like Russian movies? Uh, maybe you have some favorite Russian movies? Um, you know, I, I've seen some at the Sundance Film Festival. To be honest, I can't remember. I'm bad at titles. I don't remember American titles. I gotta go, what was that movie? With, what's his name? Like, stuff like that. So I've seen them, and I know I've, there's a, a lot more Russian actors living in Los Angeles now yeah. that, have, that have come out there to... Um, and, you know, it's, I, I know that Russia, they love action movies here. So, like they do in the States. So, I, I came with a couple of scripts here that I've been talking to investors to possibly shoot, hopefully, shoot a movie here sometime. Will you act in my movie? <laughs> you gotta, is, do you have the funding? Do you have the money? Sure. Yeah? <laughs> we will your, talk about this, right? What's your budget? <laughs> a lot of money. <laughs> Here's a question. Um, yes. I think Arnold Schwarzenegger is the main, uh, has the main role in New Hercules. No. Arnold Schwarzenegger? No. Dwayne oh. Johnson. The Rock. They shot in Romania, I think, the new Hercules. No, I think I got it wrong. Yeah. Any new Conan? Conan Doyle, right? Conan, War, War, Barbarian. Did they do a new Conan? They're doing a new Barbarian. Yeah, and I think he's asking, would you like to be in, in the new Hercules? Well, they shot already. I wanted to be in it. I, we we call up the direct call up the director, and he's stupid not to do it because Hercules is still in a hundred countries around the world. It's still huge. In in America, it's on three different places. Netflix. I don't give Netflix here. It's on Netflix. It's on two different cable outlets in America. So. I'm getting a lot of these kids under 18 years of age that are discovering it. So when I go to the grocery store, I'm getting stopped by 11-year-old kids. Oh my God, it's Hercules! So television is very powerful. You know, it just keeps things going. And Hercules still, still plays. I mean, because it's not, it's not set in modern times, so people still enjoy it. I'm watching episodes with my kids sometimes. It's you were talking about your Hercules? Yes, the new, the new one they shot already, so they didn't, they didn't want me in it. They're stupid. Какое представление о России до своего приезда и от въехав в Россию какое вы видели? How did you imagine Russia before you came here and not and now? We, it, I, I wasn't. There's certainly cultural differences, but when I, when I have, there's so many people I've met from Russia or so many people I know have been here, so they already kind of told me what it's going to be like. I mean. You walk through any of your malls, it could be Beverly Hills. I mean, there's no difference. I mean, you put, no, but I mean, you walk in, the, the inside of the store looks no different. You know, sell the same, selling the same things. The restaurants they brought me to, well, that's great Moscow, food. But, but you know, uh, 
Moscow and St. Petersburg is not Russia itself. Uh, yeah. Russian small cities, there you can find some Russian people, really yeah. Russian. And there are so, so many cultural differences between sure. even Moscow and oh, St. Petersburg. Oh, no question. When uh, some no, person that. who came from St. Petersburg comes to Moscow, it's, 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 it's terrible, actually. <laughs> and on the contrary, it's just the same. When something, yeah. someone from Moscow comes from St. Petersburg, it's, it's really difficult. They, these people who came from from Moscow mm -hmm. to St. Petersburg, they um, think that uh, all the things are so slowly, so slowly mm -hmm. in all the Russian cities and in St. Petersburg and in Moscow, it's just this. Yeah. Well, I think, you know, if you go to New York City and then go to Oklahoma in the middle of the farm country, it's the same. It's pretty different. <laughs> it's, it's it's like you know that maybe towns of maybe 70 people in New York's you know got 10 million, 12 million. So. Moscow and Saint Petersburg is like New York for those little towns. Yeah. And oh, sure, for, it's different. For the but, you, but you know, growing up as a kid during the Cold War, we got our propaganda. You guys got yours, <laughs> and. And so, in, in America, there was certainly, we had a lot more freedom, there's no question. There are things you couldn't do. When I, when I shot Call the Conqueror in Bratislava, Slovakia in 1996, so that was only basically six years after the wall came down, I still saw a heavy hand of the KGB there. But, you know, and they t tell me, that's old KGB, they still run everything. And um, the people would sit there and, and say, you know, we could never have this sort of freedom to do these things before. So, but America is changing now. Now we have a president that's a very much socialist, Marxist. Obama is very, he is, and he's changing the face of America quite a bit. And uh, America has all kinds of problems. I, I think, you know, we give so much of our money to other countries to make them friends. I go and, we're, our education system is horrible. Our public education is horrible. Very expensive. We, we homeschool. Problem, it's uh, very expensive. Well, they take our taxes, you know, so uh, more people that can afford it are sending kids to private schools. They have the money, they don't want a public school. We've gone, in the 1950s, America ranked in the top five in the world for education. We now rank 58. We're just going down, downhill. Our tax base is getting higher and higher and higher. California, uh, for me, it cost me 60 cents of every dollar, 60%. <coughs> goes to the government. I have to work seven months out of the year just to pay my taxes. It's, re it's ridiculous. It's gotten so bad. And so other states are becoming more tax-free and you don't have to pay maybe a, a, a federal, a state, a, a United States a federal tax, but you don't, don't, more states are becoming tax-free states to get people to move. California is losing people like crazy. People are tired of the politics, they're tired of the taxes. You have to teach yourself hide the taxes. Oh my gosh, I know. <laughs> Canary Islands, maybe, I don't know. Uh, got to go somewhere with it. But Arnold Schwarzenegger is the governor of California. How he didn't do a very good job. No? Mm. He's not, but he's more... Just a face. But the Cal California's politics are so entrenched on one side. They're very, very liberal. Mm. And like the state I grew up in, Minnesota, you can come from another state, and if you prove you've been there just three days, and I've been here three days, I can't find work. They just give you money. Where? In Minnesota, where I grew up. Wow. And California's getting the can same I way. Can come to Minnesota? Yeah, come to Minnesota. <laughs> but see, that promotes laziness. You oh, should it's work. True. It's true. Working is good. I understand there's some people who can't work. I have no problem paying my tax no dollars motivation. to help people who can't work. But we have 310 million people in America. We have 100 million people living off the government. Can't tell me 100 million people need, there's, you know, maybe 30 million need help. The other 70 million just go, yeah, I don't feel like working. It's the mentality. It's, it's the mentality, yeah, motivation. it's just, we have, we have, the welfare system was set up in the 60s after President Kennedy was assassinated by L, uh, LBJ. And he, for the black community, he said, if you have kids, we'll pay for that, but you can't have a man in your life. Really? So women would have four or five kids and four or five different guys. So now we have, we have a huge, we have 80% of the black community in America are raised with no father. Eight out of 10, no father. And our, and our government created that. They created a negative, uh, uh, they created that negative society within the black culture, which is really sad to me. Almost every kid you see that's a big athlete, you know, that, that they, they show from like 
basketball or football professional players. 80% of those guys don't have, didn't have a father. I think every country has the same. And Russia well, I, is the same. Is it? Yes. But we set it up that way. We set up that way. We will pay you money. If, if you, but if they said, but you can't have a man. Well, of course they're going to have. Then they're, then for each kid they get a lot of money for each month. It's cra it's, it's it's a weird system. So it promotes it promotes laziness. And to me, I didn't grow up with any money. My father was a teacher in school. I'm the fourth of five kids, and my dad taught us all to work hard. Work hard. I was nine years old. I had a paper route. I got up at 4:30 in the morning. Wow. Riding my bike in weather like this in the morning, at four thirty in the morning, delivering eighty newspapers every morning. So my father taught hard work. Very important. It's impressive. Yes. <laughs> um, you love uh, ski. Skiing. Ski. Yes. How uh, about skates? I used to I used to play hockey, but I was a better I was a better basketball player. So I want to play <laughs> basketball. But I do love hockey. I go to I go to games in Los Angeles. You know the Los Angeles Kings. Um, but I, I love to ski. I don't ski. I maybe ski 10 days, 12 days a year. I don't get enough. Just too, it's too busy. But snowboarding? I know snowboarder. Oh. It looks like a lot of fun, but I'm a good skier, and I don't need more crap in my garage. <laughs> what do you think of Vin Diesel? Uh, what do I think of him? I th I, I've never met him. You never met him? No, but I know Paul Walker. Paul, Paul Walker who yeah, died. died. Paul and I were we had the same manager for a long time. Where did he die from? Car crash. But they were going, they're going about 160 kilometers in about a 60 kilometer zone. 160. Yeah, they ran into a tree. The car, the car got split in half. That's how fast they were. Going. So they're still doing Fast and Furious in real life. They're they're going to do the seventh one, I think. Yeah. No, I mean. Oh, in died. real life, yes, they were. But that's sort of how he was, though. Yeah, it's sad. It's sad. Not a good way to go. Yeah. I'm listening to you. So not in wrestling at all? No. My Wait. brother, my older brother was a wrestler. But did they offer you? No. Like, no. Like he, that's what he was. He would have been a pro football player, but he had an injury that took him out of football. So no, he in was. Wrestling, in so, wrestling. So he was. Well, that's why. So he was smart enough to go, what am I going to do now? So he moved into wrestling. He was never a wrestler before that. No, what about you? Like, were you offered? No, no, not at all. How do you think of the sport? WWE? Um, it's entertaining. I mean, a lot of it is, is choreographed, but they do, they're strong guys. I mean, they throw each other around. It's, it's very popular in America, I know that. Yeah. I, know, I know, I know, but I know Dwayne, I know Dwayne Johnson. I, I've worked out with him many times. He's a, he's a good guy, he's a nice guy. Stone Gold, Steve Austin, Dave Batista. Cold Stove Steve Austin? Is that what he said? Yes. Uh, Stone Gold Steve Austin, is he with him? That's who? He's an actor and wrestler. Yeah, he's an actor and wrestler as well. And so you know him, right? I've, I've golfed with him, I know him, yeah. He's a great golf. Dave Batista. Dave Batista. I would like to ask him about Lucy Lawless and Cena. I've not seen her since, I haven't seen her in 13 years. Uh, just well, I have no idea what she's doing. <laughs> yeah, last time I uh, watched her in uh, Aero Trip movie in 2005, okay. and I just would like to know uh, is she so strong in in real life? Like we, she's a big girl. To... She was strong. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I think yeah. Character. She was. Um, she did about four or five episodes of Hercules the first two years before Xena even happened. Oh. So they had they had a different actress book for the part of Xena. <laughs> Yeah. Um, but then that one, she got sick, so they they were panicked and they had to get somebody. So they'd used her before. So uh, she's lucky. That whole thing just happened weird. But that's part of Hollywood. Some things happen like that. To help people Mr. Sleep. Sorba, uh, can I get your attention for 40 seconds? Okay. Uh, I need a um, I need a professional uh, point. <laughs> <laughs> you are were, were, uh, director of movies, yes? Yes. Um, I have uh, my advertise for American company, Shampoo. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, I'm acting, I'm a director, and all the stuff. Can you look a little, please? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so your, you, give you your... shot this commercial? Huh? Are you in it, or you shot the commercial? Um, you I'm, direct I'm going it. to I'm going to go uh, Hollywood for, uh, for months. I will, I will. 
When the, I will. When, when are you coming? Yeah, 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 yeah it's, it's me. Total. I'm a director. I'm a acting. And when are you moving to Los Angeles? Yeah, and uh, I will to go to Los Angeles to learn English <laughs> and uh, for four months. But when? April, uh, no, no, 2014. Best, best time to go. Best time. <laughs> Go, um, tell them to, uh, to live in Santa, uh, Santa Monica uh, or you invite me. Manhattan Beach. <laughs> yeah. No, that's look for a place there. Yeah, okay. I live way, I'm, I'm 70 kilometers outside of Los Angeles. I'm, I got tired of living in there, so I moved out. But you're single, yes? Single. Perfect. I go to the purpose. I go to the purpose. No, Not a dream. It, it, no, but it, no, but no, but Gold's gym is close by. The world famous Arnold Schwarzenegger, Lou Ferrigno, the Hulk. All those guys are at that gym. But you've got you've got the, the bike path in the ocean. Uh, what about the bike path? It goes it goes path. for 50 kilometers along the ocean. It's rollerblading. Most girls, girls in bikinis. Most girls, let's say, I'm going to be teaching there, where the sun is shining. He's going to learn. Uh, he's going to study. The well, there's there's an English teaching school in Santa Monica. EF, if you know. I've heard of that. Yeah, English oh. first. Ah, that's English. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, for the first time, and then, and then look, <laughs> just <to> look. <laughs> Uh, okay. For the second. It's perfect. It's a nice movie. It looks like a six million dollar movie. Yeah. Well, we all took we all took big, huge pay cuts, and saying okay, what a lot of it, what a lot of because the economy is so bad, it's bad in America too. It's um, the actors, producers, everybody will take a pay cut and say okay, but I get a point or two points on the end of the movie. Like the movie gets sold in an HBO cable or or DVD or video on demand. We get a percentage of that sale, so that's how we try to get, and that is a formula that has been working. Because what if made probably three million dollars on four hundred thousand with no advertising, so they made a profit on that. What about Christmas Angel? Christmas Angel did all right. Christmas, I you saw it Christmas just Angel? Before, yes, uh, I watched it before coming here. That was a fun movie. Did you see uh, the Santa it. suit? Yes, I did. Santa suit they aired a lot in America. That one did really well. Yeah, it's a Christmas movie. I have another Christmas movie called Twas the Night Before that we hope we shoot next year with the same people I did What If with. Um, the same writer, same director. It's called Twas the Night Before. So hopefully for next Christmas we'll have that done. But it's been, I'm shooting a comedy called The Coffee House. Um, late January. But when I get back, I leave here January 2nd and I gotta go straight to uh, Nashville, Tennessee to shoot a movie there before I go and shoot this other one. And that one is a, uh, that one is a, um, kind of a, kind of a drama. I just finished a drama called Forgiven, which is, which is spiritual. And I play, I play a hostage negotiator where this guy has gone into the church and he's holding a pastor and his two daughters hostage right now because he just killed his girlfriend. So he's being chased by the police. He thinks he killed her. He, she ends you, up. How do you feel about violence? I personally don't well, like. Violence. Well, it's getting worse and worse. I, I mean, I'm, I'm not saying don't make like. I don't know what the rating systems here, but we have like R-rated movies where you have to be 17 years or older to see it. I'm not going to tell people not to make those movies, but the historically, the movies that have made the most money are comedies. You know, The Incredibles. Cars, you know, G-rated movies, PG-rated movies. Um, so it's it's changing. I mean, unfortunately, we're people are accepting more and more that everything is okay, and it's not okay. There's a lot of TV shows I don't want my kids watching, you know, that are on nighttime. There's no family hour on TV anymore, so it's hard it's hard to find that. But um, I most of the movies I've made, besides Julia X. We're, I don't know if you ever saw that one, but I played a serial killer in that one. So, <laughs> but it was kind of fun. It was, it was fun for me to play this guy, this sort of the creepy guy. 
And um, I know they aired it in Germany. I don't know where else it's been, but it's, it's out there. I think you tasted every kind of genre you wanted, right? Well, I just, I mean, I still like fun movies. I like comedy. I like romantic comedy. I mean, you've tried acting in all the kind of genres? Or? Pretty much. I'm not a big, like, a slasher guy. I don't want to do a movie where I see kids get chopped up. I mean, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I know that the Hunger Games are big, but when I went, to, I didn't read the book, so I went and saw the first movie. It shocked me seeing teenagers kill each other. I said, what? This is sad. Let's do it.